What's up guys? Okay, so today is a dope video. I'm doing a painting for someone very special to me and also I am doing something very cool. I am explaining how I use the Molotel markers in depth. It's not just a couple little like word clips telling you what I do. It's literally me talking about it throughout the whole video. There's a commentary, so this is completely different. Um, yeah, here we go. Check it out. So starting off with this character, I did the circle for the head as well as the body shape. I did the top piece for the head, the arms, wings, feet, etc. Just in a basic overall shape. After that, basically I went over it again with a blue color to try and get the actual shape of the character as proportionately as I could to the picture that I was working from. After that, of course, the first base. Now this is like one of the most important parts you have to make sure you do. You have to do three layers at the very least on regular canvas or wood canvas. It just has to be done if you want it to come out looking clean. So here's how the first layer looks up close. Try and notice the difference if you can. It's kind of see through. This is the second layer, a little bit better. And of course the third layer. This looks much cleaner, much more crisp. So moving on I started doing the shadows. Now I wanted to do something a little bit different with the shadows. Uh, so firstly I started off with the base of the shadow from the picture I was working with and once I had that I started kind of trying some stippling for the first time ever in a painting and I actually ended up liking how it came out it gave it a nice texture so I continued working with that into the wings the arms and of course the legs I thought this came out really nice like just the texture of it it looked really cool um, so after that I did a bit of grey into the white areas just to add that other bit of texture as well and uh, I really really enjoyed how it was starting to come out looking so I definitely wanted to stick with this and this might be something I might try in the future. It's just little stipples. So that's how it looks with the stipples real close up. And this is the first layer so I have to do three layers of the shadows as well. That's the second layer. It looks a little bit better. And of course that's the third layer which once again looks much more clean and crisp. So you have to do the three layers. So after I finished the three layers of the shadows I decided that I'd add a tiny little bit more dark blue just to give a bit more of a finishing touch to the head, the arms, and the feet. I thought it looked pretty nice so of course I stuck with that. Moving forward I did the eyes, just a simple oval shape. They came out really really nice. And then of course I did the line work. So when it comes to the line work, basically I like to start with a thin line and I like to bring it all the way around every, sh every part of the character, the arms, the legs, every little piece that needs to have a line around it, I get that done. And then of course I do the thick outer line. Now this line is the most important line, it has to be the cleanest, it is the final line work. And so what I like to do is be very very careful and do the outer line first. And once I'm finished with the outer line, that's when I finally do the inner line work and I thicken the lines a little bit in places they need to be thickened or thinned. What I mean by that is like for example where the arm is, where the arm's line ends at the armpit area, it needs to be thinned out and that'll give it more dimension. It'll also just make it look a lot cleaner and it'll be better overall. So here's how it looks close up. And now of course I start on the background. So with the background, as usual, I do three layers. I start with the first base layer and then I work my way around a second time and then of course a third time. And with the wood canvases, I like to go a fourth time even sometimes. So with this canvas, I did that. Once I finished the four layers, I moved on and I started doing a little bit of extra stuff. I wrote a little note at the top and I did some hearts on the side. This painting is for a girl. I did the hearts three layers and I did the writing three layers to make sure that it was bold and thick. And finally, of course, I did a little bit of shine into the eyes. I was going to do it on the rest of the character, but I chose not to this time. This is how the final piece looks and I think it turned out pretty great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Okay guys, so I did this painting for a reason. My girlfriend's birthday is coming up next week and we ha like I have no money to spare so I can't get her anything and she always complains about me not ever drawing or painting anything for her. So I did this for her and I'm hoping she's gonna like it. So this is how it looks officially. She's gonna be home any minute. So I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna leave it face towards her mirror. And when she gets it, I'm gonna have her recording her so I can get the reaction because I really, really wanna I really want to surprise her, so hopefully this works out. Glee Moms! Are you okay? No, I'm 
really thought you were joking. Okay, so that was the video, and obviously she liked the painting, clearly, because <laughs> she freaked out. Uh, she didn't cry, by the way, don't worry, she wasn't all upset, freaking out, she was just being whiny. Um, but anyway, so that was it. Let me know, guys, uh, this is completely different, I never did anything like this. Let me know if you like the commentary. Um, I might not do it every video, but if you guys do enjoy it, I might try and add it here and there when I can. Like, I don't want to repeatedly go over the steps every time, but at least I can mm -hmm. explain my painting or explain to you what the painting's about, or whatever yeah. the case may be. So. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, love paintings, love art, <laughs> love your night. It's Friday. Yeah. That's it. Take it easy.